Hey guys, it's Clash of Destiny here, um, with a new guide on Akali. Um, basically, Akali was nerfed a long time ago. If you all remember, she was Flavor of the Month, and she was then nerfed to the ground. Well, not nerfed to the ground, but she was nerfed pretty heavily, um, by Riot. And, um, recently she got some buffs, um, and I, th I believe it's it was in this patch where they increased her base health. Um, in my opinion, she's pretty strong, it's just that nobody is playing her at the moment. Um, she does have some sort of annoyances, I guess you would say, um, but, uh, I'll talk about those in a bit. Anyway, Akali's passive is Twin Disciples, upon gaining 20 ability power. Macaulay's basic attacks deal 8% opponent bonus magic damage and increasing by 1% for every 6 ability power gained thereafter. And also upon a 10 bonus attack damage, Macaulay gains 8% spell vamp, increasing by an additional 1% for every 6 bonus attack damage gained thereafter. Basically very easy to understand. Um... She's a very good hybrid champion. She utilizes a lot of the AD and AP on her scales or on her skills, and she has really good scaling. Um, the only thing is that AP Akali obviously is more bursty than AD Akali. Um, that's why you tend to go more AP than AD. But that does not mean you shouldn't grab any AD. Um, Generally, I will say something about the runes right now, but um, for runes, you should grab flat AD and flat AP. Basically saying that you should grab flat AD reds and flat AP blues. Then, you should get yellow armor, um, what's it called, armor seals, and you can either get AD quints, armor pen quints, magic pen quints, or AP quints, or you can even go movement speed quints or health quints. This is basically a very a huge range of good runes that you can you can grab. Obviously, depending on your own choice. Kali's Q is mark of the assassin. And Kali spins her karma at the target enemy to deal magic damage and mark the target for six seconds. Kali's melee, melee attacks against the marked target will trigger and consume the, tar the mark to cause additional damage and restore energy. Basically, you throw your karma or whatever it's called at the enemy. They will now have this spinning karma over their head, basically, and then you attack them and you deal extra damage. You rank this first um, as a Kali and max it first as well. Kali's W is Twilight Shroud. A Kali throws a cover of smoke while inside the area. A Kali gains armor and magic resistance and becomes stealth. Attacking or using abilities will briefly reveal her enemies inside her smoke will have their movement speed decreased. So basically, it's it's not that big of a slow. It's I'm not sure what it is, but it's not that of a big deal. Um, this is really good for utility though, um, if you do want to catch up to your opponents. Though, it does cost a lot of energy. Um, and she also gains armor and magic resistance, as said in the text. Akali's E is Crescent Slash. Akali flourishes karmas dealing damage based on her attack damage and ability power. Basically, she just, in a small AoE around her, she does damage and you rank this lat like you rank the second twilight shroud last um it, it does okay damage just not as good as your q a collie's r is what makes a collie really awesome a collie's r is shadow dance a collie moves through the shadows quickly Quickly strike or target, dealing mat damage and consuming an essence of shadow charge. Akali recharges essence of shadow charge both periodically and upon kills and assist, maximum of three stacks. So basically, it's a pretty long dash. It's probably the biggest dash, well, largest AU dash, other than Nocturne's ultimate, obviously. Um. As you can jump from target to target, except for the fact 
that makes this annoying is that when you press our ultimate, and for example, you dash to a champion, you cannot use an ultimate, like you cannot use another essence of ch essence of shadow charge or shadow dance, basically shadow dance to another target or to the same target. It has a one second cooldown, which makes it really annoying because if you're trying to catch up to your opponent, and for example, they're really fast. It's going to be really annoying because you won't be able to catch up with them because they have a second of time where they can escape if they are awesome or not. <laughs> um, Alright, so for summoner spells, I grab Flush and Ignite. And Masteries are 21, 9, 0. Um, pretty spell so explanatory, grabbing all the ability power and well actually you can actually grab both. You can grab A D and A P. Um it really depends on your choice, but I grab mostly A P on her. You can actually go full on thirty oh zero zero thirty oh or thirty zero zero. Um but it's not recommended in my opinion. Um but I'm just saying I can I'm just putting that out there. You can. I suggest you run. So let's get into a game here. Um, I suggest you I have the Blood Moon Koei skin, if you were wondering. That's what it looks like in game. Mumu is our jungler, and Ash and Nautilus bots with a Corky on top. Not something you see every day, but... And looks like they're invading our jungle. So, a quick thinking of our team and myself, because I was the first one who saw them. We are able to get out of there easily and I ping their blue and tell Amumu to go there so that we can leash the blue for him because they're stealing ours. So Nautilus and Ash, they're pretty safe. And then Corky comes down to help us out too. This is actually a duo Q game. Um, I'm here with the Corky. My Corky is, the Corky is my friend. So I gave a simple leash to Amumu. And looks like like this is a bit forward of the game, and looks like Janna gets a, getting a first blood. Ash was able to get um, a kill on Corky, and here I'm just gonna chase Janna because I can see that she has no mana. <laughs> that rhymed, but yeah, she has no mana, and I will be able to get this kill on her. As you can see, the utility of W. Um. So now, even though I got that, I am now doomed because Xin Zhao and Rise are both chasing me. Um, as you can see, there's Rise. <coughs> but this is what I like about a calling. Well, love about a calling. So I just put down this Twilight Shroud, and basically I have three escape routes that I could go through because I have a stealth, and I escaped through the bottom, and they were not against me yet. Here, back into lane, and I was able to kill the Rise, but ended up dying because I got ignited, and minions do damage, a lot of damage. So, I'm minding all my own business, and suddenly this is inside of news, so, I'm like, you know what, what the heck, Rise is out of mana, so I flash and dash, <laughs> and I was able to get that kill on Rise. Unfortunately, I won't, I don't think I will be able to, well, I shouldn't be able to escape from the Zin Zhao, but our Mumu is amazing. And he stuns Zin Zhao long enough so I can escape. That was pretty awesome. So here I can see that our en our, the enemies are killing our teammates. So I'm like, well, time to get in there and dash. But I'm not able to do anything currently because Corky flashed and I'm afraid of so many people. But Zin Zhao making the mistake of going back in the bush, trying to get this Ash. I was able to pick him up. Here, Janna pushes me back, but me and Ash are able to pick her up. And a nice ultimate by Mumu, and we get two, well, three kills. I get two kills myself, and a double kill, um, giving us a nice advantage over that. And I will just head back to mid lane because the minions are pushing to the turret. Rise is nowhere to be found though. So I'm just gonna Oh, there he is. Never mind. So yeah. 
when I dash to Ryan because I'm just so fed. Well, I'm so strong, not so fed. Um, but I get snared and then take too many turret hits, which leads to my death. But it's all good. I got my Hextech revolver and my blade thing that gives life steal. So here I jump down to the, the bot lane because I know the bot lane is getting very focused very hard by the enemies. So Xin Zhao focuses on our Ash, which we unfortunately dies. Get a kill on him, kill on Janna, kill on Corky, and kill on Rise. That's a nice quadra. Amazing for five by teammates and obviously myself. <laughs> So we're going to take this turret, no problem. And as you can see through the chat, Corky's like, Call it fed, GG. And that is pretty much true. Well, it's pretty true um, normally. Because Akali is a very... She can snowball really hard. And that is what makes Akali really OP in minds of people. So we're going to get this dragon as well. Very good. That puts us very ahead of the enemies. So yeah, and then I just head over to mid lane, get some farm up. And here I'm gonna go up top. And I believe we dive this cog eh, Choga and get the kill. Unfortunately here I'm it's this is another thing. Um unfortunately I was gonna focus very hard. We did get a kill on Corky, I believe. But it was a 2-1 exchange. Amumu comes in, gets a kill on Gianna, and then unfortunately dies, which sucks. So, that wasn't a good trade for us, in my opinion. So here, back at bottom lane, and I see the Zin Zhao might be on that take too long. And unfortunately, Janna has an orb, which is, it shuts down Akali very hard, because you can they can see you through your stealth. Um, my teammates are thankfully able to get away. That was a weird, that's a weird thing, but that Choga apparently a, 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 in, interrupts Nautilus's Q. Um, but yeah, they were able to get away. So, again, I'm making stupid mistakes. So here I see, again, bot lane being very focused, very hard. So I make my way down there, and I see Rise on the way. Oh, you just can't see him right now. There he is. So I dash to Rise just so I can dash to Choga. And here, Rise is doomed because there's two of us and one of him, obviously. <laughs> And we ace them. And they also surrender. So. Very, very snowball -y game for me. Um, but, victory. yeah. Anyway, so there's the victory screen. Um, if you enjoy this guide... Let me know. I will be making a guide, uh, well, another guide soon. I know I did say I was going to make a Sivir guide very soon. And a Varus guide as well. I've played Varus on public beta environment. Well, basically the test server. And he is a lot of fun. He has a lot of cool tricks, I, would, I, I guess you could say, um, that make him really strong. Though it was only my first time, and I only played him once, too. Um, obviously, when he comes out, we will see a bunch of guides pop up for him. And I will um, hopefully make my own first impressions of the champion. Um, Sivir Guide, yes, that will be coming up soon. Um, and a while back, I got a request for a Jarvan Guide. Um... I used to play J4 a lot, a lot, um, and he was a really fun champion, but then he got nerfed and buffed and nerfed and buffed, it was like, I haven't played him in a while, like, I recently picked him up again, I have played a bunch of games with him, I haven't been very successful, 
enough to give you guys good footage on what to do. I actually do have a game where I will be using that using that game footage. So expect a bunch of guides coming up soon. Um, more commentaries will also be coming up soon. Um, hopefully I can get some commentary with our vent chats. Um, but that's all for another day. If you guys like this video, please press that like button. Um, and, you know, the usual subscribe button on top. If you love my videos and you would like to see more, I do a lot of stuff. For, like, I play League daily, so I will be posting videos soon as well. And leave a comment below if you would like to leave me a suggestion either for this guide and w what I may have done wrong in your guys' opinion Z and or what champion you guys would like to see next I would love to hear from you guys um, I do read the comments just so we know I, I do read the comments and um, yeah that's about it so guys this is Clash and I'm signing up see ya